As one family of God, we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga ho sa kanilang lahat. Good morning, Father. And welcome to our Eucharistic celebration here in the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest.
us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The content of today's passage is all about the Anawin. Those who are faithful to the Lord and put their trust in Him alone. These verses are a beautiful anticipation of the Beatitudes. Their message is as relevant in our days as it was in the time of Zephaniah. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will live as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord keeps faith forever, secure justice for the oppressed, Give, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. This second reading continues the theme of the first and prepares that of the gospel which is centered on the Beatitudes. The essence of its message is that God achieves His objectives by using means which may appear to be absolutely inadequate. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters, not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble faith. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. 
and God chose the lowly and despised of the world. Those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing, those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to Him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Bagong assigned ho ako dito sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kalilipat ko lang ho, mag-iisang buwan pa lang. Ang dati kong assignment ho ay sa Beacon sa Ligaspi ho, sa University of Santo Tomas, Ligaspi. Pero kung makailan, eh, na-assign ho ako sa, sa hospital ho namin doon, sa University of, uh, of Ligaspi uh, Hospital. At yung naging trabaho ko ay administration at meron din pong pastoral. Madalas naman po doon pong pastoral sa administration po ay eh, araw-araw. Ang dami mong pinagkakabalahan. Pero may pastoral pa rin. Ay situit na mayroong pastoral pa rin. Na pare pa rin ako. At the end of the day, maramdaman ko na pare pa rin ako. Kaya ang ginagawa ko, paghapon na, eh nag rounds na rin ho ako. Nagpapakumpisal sa mga may sakit. At madalas po ay nag anointing no sa mga may sakit. Lalong-lalo na sa ICU. At dito naman ho, bagong-bago pa lang isang buwan, Eh, very rich din po yung pastoral experience kahit isang buwan pa lang. Dito naman po ay napapansin ko na marami po yung nagpapabless. Nagpapabless ng kanilang sasakyan, nagpapabless ng kanilang rosaries, kanilang religious articles, at sila rin ho mismo, yung tao rin ho mismo, na may, may iba't ibang dahilan kung bakit ho sila nagpapabless, nagpapabasbas. At natutuhaw ako sa mga blessings. Bakit ho? Para sa akin, bilang pare, yung blessing na to is a happy moment. 
the blessing is a happy moment. Natutuwa ako habang nakikita ko na nakangiti yung mga taong nagpapabasbas. Pabasbas ng kilang sasakyan, religious articles, o di kaya sila po mismo. It's a happy moment. Madalas ho nakangiti. Parang wala pa akong nakakita na nagbabless po ako ay eh, nakasimangot. Pero madalas nakangiti ho lahat. Kaya madalas din ho ay dinadagdagan ko. Dinagdagan ko ng pagbati yung blessing. Pagkatapos ho ng blessing ay sinasabi ko, Congratulations po. Happy newly blessed vehicle. Happy newly blessed religious articles. At meron ding lumalapit. Father, bless na po ako. Bakit naman po? kikipag usap din naman ako kahit pa paano. Bakit po kayo nagpapabless? E birthday ko po. Kaya dinadagdagan ko. Okay po. Bless ko po kayo. At happy birthday po. At dinadagdagan ko pa. Salamat sa pansit. Masarap. At lumalapit din binsan mag-asawa. Father, bless niyo po ako. Bakit? Anniversary ho namin. Okay, congratulations. Happy anniversary ho sa inyo. At sana umabot sa golden anniversary and more. Blessing is a happy moment. A moment of thanksgiving. Pero, may mga blessing din ho. May lumalapit din sa akin na minsan ay parang nahihirapan ako kong batiin. Parang ay, hindi ko yata alam kung anong sasabihin ko sa kanila. Minsan may lalapit, Father, i-bless niyo po ako. O bakit naman po na sana matanggap po ako sa trabaho? Hanggang blessing lang ako. Pero sa loob ko, pa, pwede ko kayong sabihin, ay, happy no work ho. Happy no work. Minsan may lalapit din, Father, bless niyo po ako. Bakit naman po? Meron po akong cancer. Hindi ko rin ma masabi kung ano. Pero sa isip ko, pwede ko yung sabihin, happy sick day po. Minsan, may lalapit din, Father, pa-bless po. Para naman magkaroon ako ng lakas na loob, ipagpatuloy ko yung trabaho ko. Medyo toxic na ho yung trabaho ko. O may lalapit din, Father, bless po, kasi kukuha ako ng board exam. Hindi ko masabi, happy toxic day po. May lalapit din, Father, bless nyo naman ako. Para magkaroon naman ako ng tapang, naharapin yung paninira ng kamag-anak ko. Hindi ko rin masabi, happy toxic relatives po. Hindi ho ba? Sa isip ko lang ho, hindi ko naman ho sinasabi, kasi nga, kasi nga, parang hindi yata appropriate na banggitin yung mga pagbati na yon sa isang taong merong dinadala, pero humihingi pa rin ng tulong ng pagbabasbas galing sa Diyos. Di ho ba? Parang mahirap po intindihin. Mahirap po sabihin, Happy no work day. Happy sick day. Happy toxic work. Happy toxic relatives. Parang mahirap po intindihin yung bagay na yan. Pero, sa ating hong ibanghelyo sa linggong ito, eh merong pagbati yung ating Panginoon. Binabati ho tayo ng ating Panginoon. Blessed, happy are you who are poor. Magalak ka, mapalad ka, magsaya ka kapag ikaw ay nagihirap. Parang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. Happy no work day. Mapalad ka kasi wala kang trabaho. Di ho ba? Yun ang tono ng mga kataga ng mga salita ng ating Panginoon. Blessed, happy are you who mourn. Mapalad ka, magsaya ka, dahil may sakit ka. Blessed are you who are meek, who are powerless. Masaya ka kasi nangihina yung loob mo. Di ba parang ganun yung tono ng Beatitudes? Happy are you who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Mapalad ka, magala ka, dahil inaapi ka, sinisiraan ka, pinagtatawanan ka. Di ho ba, para niyo yung binabanggit, yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa ating Ibanghelyo. Blessed are you, happy are you, all of you who are here in this church. 
Masaya ho ba tayo lahat na nandito ngayon sa loob ng simbahan to? Kahit ano man yung dinadala natin, kung ano man yung pinag, uh, parang pinaghihirapan natin sa buhay, mapalag ka, magsaya ka. Yung tanong ko, tanggap ho ba natin yung pagbati ng ating Panginoon? Naintindihan ho ba natin ang mga salita, ang mga kataga ng ating Panginoon para sa atin? The Beatitudes. Blessed are you, happy are you. Sinasabi ho ni St. Thomas Aquinas, If you want to know the meaning of the Beatitudes, sabi niya, kung gusto daw ho natin maintindihan ang kahulugan ng Beatitudes, sabi ni St. Thomas, look at the crucifix. Look at the cross. If you want to know the meaning of the Beatitudes, look at the crucifix. Look at the cross. Para ho bang sinasabi ni Santo Tomas na yung crucifix ay imahe ng Beatitudes. Pag tinignan nyo ho yung crucifix, that's the Beatitudes. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, mahirap kung titingnan ho natin sa krusipiho. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, mahirap. Walang wala, ni walang gawit. No wealth. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, nasasaktan, maraming sugat. No pleasure. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, abang-aba, nakapako, di makagalaw. No power. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, aping-api, pinagtatawanan, kinukutya. No honor. No help, no wealth, no pleasure. No power, no honor. Na sinasabi ni Santo Tomas, ito yung mga bagay naging substitute ho natin sa ating search for God, sa ating longing for God. May tendency po tayo yun na yung kung mga bagay-bagay na anong meron tayo, ang ginagawa ho natin, yung ginagawa natin Diyos-Diyosan. Bakit ho? Tinatanggal ho natin kasi ang Diyos sa mga bagay-bagay na meron tayo. Kung ano mang meron tayo, minsan ginagawa ho nating Diyos-Diyosan. Kaya nga siguro minsan ay eh, parang hinahayaan ng Diyos na minsan bumagsak din ho tayo. We reach the rock bottom. Marailo is zero. Para lang ho bumalik ho tayo sa Kanya. Para bumalik ho tayo sa Kanya. Pero sa imahe ng krisipiho, our Lord Jesus Christ is detached from those substitute. And He is full of joy. He loves doing the will of the Father. That's why He is full of joy. He is doing, He enjoy doing the will of the Father who raised Him up. Kaya po sabi rin po ni Bishop Robert Baron, sabi ho niya, the crucifix is a picture of a happy man. The crucifix is a picture of a blessed man. Ang tunay na masayang tao, ang tunay na mapalad na tao, ay yung taong walang-wala, marahil, naabot yung rock bottom, nothing, zero, pero punong-puno ng pananampalataya, punong-puno ng grasya, ng Diyos. Kaya ako yung natutuwa, yung magbe-bless. May sabi, Father, may sakit po ako. O sige po, nasa isip ko na lang, happy sick day. Pero sa loob ko po, nakakatuwa tong taong to. Mahirap yung dinadala niya, pero punong-puno ng pananampalataya. Mapalad yung taong to. Yung taong to, nagpapabasbas. Pero ang daming problema sa pamilya. Pero punong-puno ng pananampalataya. Mapalag yung taong to. Di ho ba? Kaya nga ho, yung pagpapalang ito ay pinapakita din ho ng ating mahal na ina. The Blessed Virgin Mary. Bakit ho? Kasi tinanggap ho ng ating mahal na ina yung kanyang abang kalagayan. 
I am the handmaid of the Lord. I am the lowly servant of the Lord. At siya ho ay napupuno ng grasya. Although maganda ho sa original, although sa English, full of grace. Pero sa Latin ho, kung translate ho natin, gratia plena, translate po na filled with grace, ibig sabihin merong pinupuno. Hindi nanggagaling sa sarili, kundi meron hong pumupuno sa kanya ng grasya. At yung pumupuno ng grasya sa kanya, wala iba kundi yung Diyos. Filled with grace. Walang-wala, pero pinupuno ng grasya ng Diyos. Filled with grace. Pagkatapos na nitong misa, eh meron ho tayong blessing. At tiyak ho, marami sa inyo ay magpapabless. At kayo ho ay may kanya-kanyang dahilan kung po bakit ho kayo magpapabless. At sana ho, this time, tanggapin ho natin yung blessing ng may kaligayahan. Kahit anuman ho yung dinadala natin. At binabati ho kayo ng ating Panginoon. Blessed are you. Happy are you. Kahit ano man yung dinadala nyo sa buhay. Blessed are you. Happy are you. Dahil kasama ho natin ang Diyos na mapagpala. We all stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, and confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, Today, the Lord Jesus gives us assurance that God cares in a special manner for those who are humble or are despised or oppressed, and that He will reward with the gift of the kingdom those who live by the values enshrined in the Beatitudes. Let us pray for the grace to be true to these values as we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us that the whole church, under the guidance of its leaders, may give a shining example of detachment from material goods and of the promotion of moral and spiritual values. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who mourn and those who suffer for justice' sake may find in the Christian communities a source of encouragement and consolation. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all those who promote peace in their environment may never be discouraged by the difference, difficulties connected with such undertakings. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the powerful and the bright may be merciful toward those who have no connections or resources, so that, in turn, they may experience God's mercy. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. 
that the youth of the world, most especially those of our country, may treasure purity of heart in their thoughts, words, and actions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us may treasure the Word of God by reading it and applying it in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, you embody in yourself the values of the Beatitudes and their fulfillment. As we endeavor to make these values the core of our life, sustain us with your grace till we reach the reign of the Beatitudes, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this." all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to the Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary Mother of God with Saint Joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles, St. Dominic, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called ears to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. As when family with faith, hope, and love, let us now pray with confidence to our loving Father in the words our Savior gave us. Sing to me. 
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be sisters and brothers, here is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. He is our strength. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen, at isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad, at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
please stand. Litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious, anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered our world of sickness, suffering and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat ho sa inyong pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwang dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord make you kind and compassionate and thereby become instruments of His love. Amen. Amen. May He make you strong in moments of trial and wise in your judgment. Amen. May He give you purity of heart that you may see God in the beauty of nature and in the people around you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>